some of the action from earlier today and player of the year candidate Lilia Vu at the third. This one here for her third birdie in a row to start the day. We've seen what she can do. Won a couple of majors this year. Overnight leader Brooke Henderson, an early bogey, but this at the fifth. Had her lowest career round on the LPGA Tour yesterday of 62. Put new irons in the bag recently and putting them to good use there at the fifth. Gets to six under. How about Emily Pedersen, the Dane, coming off another Solheim Cup appearance? Or how about the sponsor invite, Wake Forest Demon Deacon, Rachel Keane. That Wake Forest coming off a huge win last week at the East Lake Cup. Team win that Rachel was a part of. Dialed in on the LPGA Tour and even playing on the PGA Tour very well. Pedersen, her ninth hole of the day, the 18th. Look how far down she is. Ah, she's hitting a little flip wedge into this 18th using the backstop. She has only missed two greens so far to this point all week, putting on a clinic. What a turnaround it's been the last few weeks for Lexi Thompson. Here she is at the ninth. Now off to a bit of a slow start today. Seven pars and a bogey on the eighth. But how would she respond? This one, an eight iron to a foot. Yeah, nicely done. Downhill, these greens are really fast. Already with three wins, and here she is at the eighth. This um, trying to putt through that closely mown area, then onto the green. So hard to judge the speed. And here is the Solheim Cup captain for the U.S. Stacy Lewis, 83rd in the CME points race, her ninth hole of the day. It sounds like she was happy to just be able to spend a little bit of time at home after Solheim Cup and maybe work on her game a bit. Take driver out of play for a lot of these long hitters. Fairways are fairly generous. 11. Another Jaramunas for a birdie. So she's a player that is outside. Uh, well, not quite outside. She came in at top 100. We can't tell, but that means putter for Anna, right? Probably the best I've ever seen at putting from off the green. Just has that touch dialed in and like right. nobody else. Oh, yeah. That was worth the wait. seen it time and time again grant players coming off of solheim cup with a lot of confidence and emily certainly is one of those players you get in that team environment lilia vu's tee shot the players can see that the flags over on the other side of the road left to right wind hurting slightly this is an eight iron yeah good distance control there and up at the 18th stacy lewis Get to three under. Make the cut, make a move. Who knows, maybe. Here she is taking on the second hardest par four out here today. Playing almost half shot over par on a golf course that's certainly giving up a lot of birdies. This second and the eighth. Eighth playing at 4.67 right now. <laughs> and so so much of the difficulty is right here, right? The green on two. Go to the 11th. This is a moment to go. Second shot for Park Dananen. Flag today on the other side of the green from where it was yesterday, and that is really good. So she's looking to bounce back. Uh, get even better here, and next week, this is for a birdie. Downhill, a little left to right. Oh, I think she liked the look of that for most of the way. Best finish on the LPGA tie for second. That was in Scotland in 2020. Over at the 18th and 9th of the day for U.S. Women's Open champ Allison Corpus. Yeah, talk about a fantastic season Allison has had this year, winning at Pebble Beach and that would be very tricky. I, uh, the artist that we brought in to, to write those names would have been devastated if I raked right through them. Let's uh, check out the artistry here of Brooke Henderson at the 10th. When you leave it short in the heart. It's well, you so said this is going to be tough for Vu at 10. She has a good lie and it's into the wind. I think that's pretty respectable right there. 
even if you're a great player like Lydia, if you're a sponsor invite, you get no points in those no cut events. Lilia for par. There's a reason for that, Morgan, right? I mean, if she hadn't gotten a sponsor exemption, then she wouldn't have had the opportunity to even get those points. Correct. But she's uh, uh, the point is for uh, those great finishes. Just uh, you just don't see it very often. 13. Munoz, yeah, Munoz for birdie. And the reason she wasn't in the tournament already was because she was down so on the far list. On the, yeah. yeah, good putt there. Taking the pressure off. Let's go to four. And Emily Pedersen. She sees some of the scores of players trying to make their move up the leaderboard. She is up by three at the moment. Our location towards the back and on the right half of this green today. That was an eight time. Check back in with Allison Corpuz. You see number nine in the race to the CME Globe. It's been a great year for Allison, not just the U.S. Open victory. But and here is the rookie from Japan, Manami Katsu, her second at the 18th or ninth of the day. Yeah, this hole's playing a good bit easier today. Being downwind, players having a shorter shot. Emily Pedersen to push her lead to four. This should have a gentle right to left break here. Yeah, I didn't get it anywhere near high enough. Last year down the stretch was sweating out, keeping her top 100 position. The race to the CME points list. Well, it is back uphill all the way to the hole. The hole is tilted towards her and to the left slightly, so expect it to go left. Just a moment ago, second shot for Lilia Vu. Yeah, that's just a little wedge. Indicating that she thought it might go a bit too far, but it's perfectly fine. You were pointing out earlier, Morgan, that she's made an eagle in the first hole both days. It's something you don't see very often, considering both are not reachable par, you know, not par fives. They're right. both par fours. So hold out her second shot on the 10th hole yesterday. There's not a whole lot of room left for this flag, Kay. Don't want to be no. too far left. Ideally, just barely short and right. Right about that, there. That works pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a guaranteed birdie for Brooke. Was number one on the amateur ranking. And after that little adjustment, after turning pro, she's found the form again. Yeah, she's talked a lot about her mentality. Up over to the 11th, see Brooke Henderson tap this one in to get it to eight under, chasing Emily Pedersen at the top of the leaderboard. They tend to be pretty flat, don't they, in this part of the world? Going. Yeah. Yeah, started that out. You could tell by the start line that started well to the right, but allowed the wind to draw it back. This is seven on for her. Worked on keeping that down just a little bit. Great shot. Yeah, yeah. nice. Got right. All right, let's check out Brooke Henderson's tee shot with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Looks like such a small target back there. Brooke going with a seven iron wind left to right. It's because it is a pretty small target, okay? It doesn't just look like one. It is. Fifth, Pedersen for birdie. Yeah, a little uh, knee bend helped it go in. She'd never led after in the world, and Lil Lilia Vu, one of those, running in. Yeah. Here's Lilia for birdie at 12. Oh. All right. Right across, right to left. Coming off a little bit of a down low lie. Good line. Oh, really Always good. has a lot of Canadian on the right tier. I think it depends when you decide on Bermuda whether you want to putt or chip from off the green. It depends on the green. Playing a ball well back in her stance, a little bump and run. 
Yeah, much better. She did a good job there, mentally erasing that previous shot. Yes. Yeah. Pedersen cleaning up at six. Is that one she'll think she should have gotten up and down? Really taking advantage of these par fives. She putted really well in Vegas as well. She picked up a stroke on the field in that second round 69. Uh, celebrating a birthday today. I understand they're going to go out and celebrate with uh, some of the finest hot dogs in the area tonight. I didn't know he was a fan of those. You can bet on it. Pedersen trying to run one up there. This is playing a little more difficult than it has done uh, in the past and certainly yesterday. But the reason is, as we pan over to the right, the flag is kind of tucked all the way. Oh, so good. So good. Around the greens, Swanapura for a birdie at 13. Yeah, the golf course is in such great shape and the weather is so good that yesterday the scoring was pretty even throughout the whole day. So together that has been massively impressive in terms of results. Okay, good birdie there. Her best finish of the year came in a ladies European tour event, the Saudi Ladies International, where she finished sixth. That was her first start venue for the season ending event. To the coon for birdie yeah that'll help the course checking with Inji Chan it's not been a great year for Inji you can see 75th in the race to the CME Globe had to miss a little bit of the season with an injury after the Chevron Championship but may be able to finish the year on a high that's back to back birdies for Inji our leader by three Emily Pedersen with her second the most Brutal hole on this golf course today. Hole location on the right side, right by a swale, middle of the green, right where she placed that one is ideal. Let's go to the 17th, and Bianca Pagdanan has left it in a good spot. Ooh, yes. Next year, full time. Emily Pedersen, par putt at the eighth. Okay. How about this round? Six under. Right over at the 18th after a bogey save at 16, a birdie at 17. Bianca. The 18th. Oh, yes. What a finish. Currently 60th in the race to the CME Globe. Here's 13. It's Lindy Duncan for a birdie. Oh, no, it doesn't like it. Step in anybody's line there. And it is downwind. She only has 94 yards. Yeah, really good. Lovely. Birdie putt here for Swanapura. The late season form for Jasmine Swanapura. Four birdie at the 18th. at the 16th the tie Titikun needs to pick up at least a shot over the last three holes yeah. and how about that a three putt par at 14. you can hear it making quite a bit of noise that flag fluttering but it didn't put her off well done just really showed some steady solid golf and then this year with another year under her belt, some more experience, knowing the golf course is better. I think believing in herself as well a little bit more, that's really been the biggest difference that's brought her to the top of the game. When you think about it, that good year last year got her into the early season Asian events. It did, it took a while to find a spot where she could keep the ball stationary, not have it roll back into the penalty area. That one's gonna climb over the slope. Yeah, there's a little 
mound in the middle of the screen. Just a little bit of breeze to think about on this hole, especially with that raised green. Really nice tempo there on that wedge. Ooh. Shouldn't have too much spin. Great shot. Beautifully. Emily was fit enough to do it and was in good shape. Oh, that was big. Mentally, emotionally, and even for the scorecard. Ten yards left. Really need to take dead aim for this small target. That's a really small target. I think with her little low ball flight can make this work out quite well. Yeah. It's got to go. It's got to go in. Seventeen. Ty Tidikun for three birdies in a row to bounce from one side of the cut line to the other. So doing something good as well, and that's definitely something I'm taking from this all in. Golf is so mental. It's good to see you being a, a kinder, gentler person to your own self. Well, 12 under par after the first two days. Great way to start the week, Grant. And that's a great mentality. Just keep grinding away little by little. You never know when you're going to be at the top of the leaderboard. And Lydia has been very transparent with us this year talking about her roller coaster season. She did win on the Ladies European Tour. She's had some good finishes of late that didn't count in the CME standings, which is why she's still 101st. This is Lindy Duncan. She's going to go with the putter from way off the green. It wasn't a very good tee shot, but we've already seen Ty Tidikun hole one on this almost exact line. So it's a good three for Lindy Duncan. 67th, so seven spots outside of the mark. 17th, Suwanapura asking for it to sit down right away. That's fine. Huh? Greens in regulation yesterday, 12 today, in part, as you said, because of where she was off the tee. Meanwhile, Lilia Vu in good position here on this hole and in the tournament. Let's see if she can get some of that help off the backstop here. It's trying, just slowly picking up pace. Ahead of Celine with one week to go. At the 14th, this is Min Lee. This was just a moment ago. Third shot. Just a moment ago at 14 from the Netherlands, Davy Weber. You see number 122 in the race to the CME Globe. This is the last week for players to move inside the top 100. And Davy tied for fifth. Lilia for her comebacker. Ji Chun driven it down the right side, try and open things up to this green, which sits across the players, and that's going to spin. No, oh, it's going to be quick above the hole. But Lindy Duncan is playing well, tied for third, as you see, in 92nd in the race to the CME Globe. A player who lost her card has been fighting back since then, and another beauty still didn't finish inside the top 100 talked to her earlier this year she said i just love the game so i keep at it she's just not going away <laughs> 32 years old now set up to hit a big cut here feet aimed almost to the front left edge of the green oh what a shot mm -hmm. played with the wind, let the wind help drift it over towards the hole. When she saw it heading that way. There's Amanda Doherty at the 14th. Just one par five on each side. Katsu. Up the hill for the birdie. Very good. Yeah, yeah well right done. Up. So right she's up. trying to creep closer to Emily Pedersen. Uh, for the players. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we got oh, that. You didn't got that. Uh, you didn't get it. Alley for par. Oh, yeah. But Allie did. How about that two putt? 